It's more about the education system and concerns being raised about why aren't individual school districts or individual schools allowed to set their own rules when it comes to what assurances can be made that safety is a priority. And we had some discussion about this yesterday with Dr. Gustafson, but can you give us any kind of insight into what changes could be coming if these variants take hold and and will school districts be allowed to adapt accordingly depending on how hot the variant is in, in a particular area? Yeah, so I think if we look at um, how we have set up the safety plans for schools, this is a team approach. And we have uh, the public health guidance that we have sets a standard. And then it's adapted by the school superintendents, by the principals, by the teachers in each individual school, depending on their physical layout, uh, you know, the, everything from ventilation to the, the numbers of kids in the classes, the types of classes that they have. So it is individually tailored with the, the provincial um, sort of backbone of the guidance that we have. So uh, there is absolutely flexibility, and I know the superintendents in Surrey School District is a really good example, has been working closely with each individual school, um, with the teachers, the principals in those schools, and with public health from Fraser Health, the school health officers, to adapt and adjust the plans. And we know as well that when the safety plans that are in place in these schools uh, are being followed, that they work. We, we have had a cluster of, of um, uh, exposure events, but again, very little transmission so far. And that's why we're doing the extra testing to be reassured on this. Um, but so far, it does not look like there's significant transmission from these variants, which is really good. It shows us that the safety plans in schools are working. And yeah, it is concerning. Um, and that's why we're watching it so carefully and we're paying so much attention to it. Dr. Henry, so we, we, we asked this, uh, this yesterday, but uh, we're still trying to get around with the clear answer. Um, I know you just touched on it, but can, can school districts start implementing their own COVID protocols in the classroom, like mask wearing in the elementary schools if, if, if they deem it necessary and without uh, waiting for you or the province to mandate it? And if not, why, why not when teachers and families are asking for the, for the province and for you to steer away from uh, once it's all approached for all, all classrooms in BC. Um, if, and if you can, if a, an answer can be provided in French for that. So it, it, again, it goes back to we provide the guidance and it is up to each school to work with their local um, situation, with the teachers, the principals in those schools. And the guidance is not developed in isolation. We have teachers, we have parent groups, we have superintendents. Um, they meet on a regular basis to develop the guidance and the advice that's given to individual schools. And then they work with their local um, school health officer and address the situations that are unique to their schools and absolutely it is important for teachers to encourage um, mask use where it's appropriate in classrooms and uh, you know these are the things that um, are individual classroom and school based and I just have tremendous respect for the the vast number of, of educators in our system who are making this work and providing a safe environment that is so important for the the growth and development of children and we've seen that more and more how important in-classroom schooling is for our next generation and the importance of keeping that up and making sure that we can do it in a way that's safe.